see a couple other people here tonight, and uh, we've got uh, we've got Scott Rummel here. I'll send you his info. Scott? Is, buddy, I, I, I'm a voice guy. I don't do on camera. I, well, I told you this. I, I understand. You're going to have to talk to my agent. I have a call into him right now. I don't like these lights. It's okay. I want to be in my pajamas in, in Joe's booth. That's, that's what we do, right? Exactly. But I, I do want to ask you a question. Okay. I, I do want to ask you a question. In terms of, of, of the craft, in terms of practicing every day, I remember when I first took a course and you were one of our visiting instructors several years ago, you had said it was really essential every day if you want to be successful in this in this industry to practice. I just wanted to elaborate, rather you elaborate on what that means and, and what that requires. Well, you know, I, I live in Orange County and for 18 years I drove in to LA every day and I, I read every billboard out loud. And I was so happy when the billboards would change because it was new material for me. But I literally, that was a, a thing I did every day. And I would practice every day. I would read People magazine and read the ads because they looked like TV ads. And so I'd read those out loud and I'd record myself. And I mean, I would practice. I practiced constantly. I was in workshops constantly. I grew up in the workshop system in, an L in L.A. I was in workout groups. And, uh, you know, there's a, a book by Malcolm Gladwell called Outliers where he talks about the fact that he studied people who are successful in any endeavor and they put in 10,000 focused hours toward that endeavor. And that usually equates to about 10 years. Right. And if you look at the, the day I left full-time work and went into voiceover and got my first trailer, it was exactly 10 years. 10 years of focused practice. So it is a craft, it is an art form, and I still practice. You know, I still, you know, it's something I'm passionate about. So Right, exactly. So you heard it from the man. So your your advice then for for people who really want to get into this business besides patience, 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 what would you say to those people? Just Again, just keep working at your craft, getting better and better and better. Stretch yourself. Uh, get involved in, in any workout group or, you know, whatever it is. I took animation workshops and improv workshops, and I studied privately with coaches, and, I mean, this was what I was going to do with my life. And I, knew, I was lucky. I knew that from the time I was a little kid. So I used to be in... The, when I was a little kid, I used to take my grandpa's tape recorder into the closet and, and do funny voices and pretend it was the studio. So, but for the people that maybe aren't little kids that are older kids that want to do it now, it's the same thing. You just have to practice, practice, practice. In, 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 in growing up and in, in thinking about the world of voiceover, who are your mentors or who did you follow as, as, as a young man? Well, of course, Don LaFontaine was one of my huge heroes. Right. Uh, but uh, Danny Dark was the voice of NBC, Mark Elliott, CBS, um, Ernie Anderson, ABC. Those were guys that I loved and followed. Um, my mentor was a man by the name of Dawes Butler, and I was blessed enough to study with Dawes the last three years he was alive, and he was the voice of Yogi Bear, Huckleberry Hound, Quick Draw McGraw, Snagglepuss, I mean hundreds of characters. And But he taught us about voice acting. He was the first guy that taught me about mic technique and about uh, not making it a voice but making it a character and a person. And even though I don't do a lot of animation, uh, or really any animation anymore, I've done animation, each of these characters that you hear when you hear me do a movie trailer for Super 8. That, right. That's not the voice you're hearing right now. It's a, it's acting. Exactly. Or if I'm doing Pirates of the Caribbean, or if I'm doing Ralph's Grocery Store, or whatever it is. They're all different characters. And I don't think of them as, as voices. I think of them as characters. So the craft of acting, improvisation, all those things are, are key to our business. So, Final question. With... with, with so much demand for for your for your voice. What is your typical day like, and 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 how do you how do you balance your time? And because I know it's a long day. Yeah, it's a long day, um, and especially right now during fall season with all the new shows kicking off. But um, you know, um, I make sure that I'm booked out for dinner with my family every night, and uh, that keeps me sane. So I know I'm yeah. going to have a bit of time. 
to do that. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm like everybody else. I wake up in the morning and I have two standing dates. Uh, actually, uh, yeah, I have three. Three times that I know I'm going to probably be working that day. And, but the rest of it, I'm like a firefighter. The, the phone goes off. And it's like, you know, Universal needs you in 15 minutes. And so I wake up during the day. I don't know if I'm going to work a little or a lot. I'm like everybody else. And I might have a good year this year, but I don't know if I'm going to make any money next year. Right. So I just keep working, you know. And, and But I, one of the things that makes it easy for me is I love what I do. I love exactly. this business. Exactly. I Every script is a, is a new, fun adventure for me. Right. And uh, so that's the truth, you know. Final question, which is the most important question of the now night. You said final question once or yeah, I know, I know. Okay. Now listen, we're, 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 we're both baseball guys, and we're both Anaheim Angel guys. That's right. We have, a less, we have less than a week to go. Uh, what do you think about the wild card for the Angels now that Texas has clinched the American League yeah, West? Yes. What do you, what do you, what's your take on well, the I was, Angels? I was at the game last night, and I was just heartbroken to watch us lose to the, oh. the A's last night because that could have been a step forward. So, you know, I'm an optimist, so I'm hoping that, that we can get into that wild card. That wild card looked like it wasn't going to happen. Right. And uh, so, but, yeah, I'm an Angel fan, and I don't know if you know why I'm an Angel fan. I do, but they don't. So, so tell, give, 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 them, give uh, me your answer. I used to sell peanuts at Angel Stadium. So okay. when I was a kid, I did two seasons of throwing peanuts. So I used to throw for the Angel organization, but it was peanuts, not baseball. So, but, uh, so I'm a big Angel fan, so... Um, we're hoping, we, you know, we've had a good season though. We've been in it, we've been fighting it out with Texas all season long, so oh. it's, at least it's been fun. But I'm, I hope it doesn't end, you know, but. I hope not either. You know, I, I don't know. Well, we've got till Wednesday, which is interesting because this, this year the season ends yeah. on Wednesday versus yeah. Sunday. Who is your all time angel? If someone was at going back, uh, you know, the last 10, 20 years. Okay. Uh, my favorite angel is Troy Percival. I think one of the greatest pictures of all time, and there was just an excitement that came into that stadium every time he came out. Right. And during the 2002 World Series, it was just like watching a, a magician. He was just amazing. You know, he would throw nine pitches and the inning would be over sometimes. So Troy is my favorite. Um, and uh, But there's so many great angels throughout the years, you know. Um, and... Uh, and, you know, I, I, I grew up loving the Dodgers, too, as a Southern California boy. But once I started hey, there we are. selling peanuts, I moved my loyalty over there. But, um, That's right. But anyway. Very good. Yeah. That's great. So I'll be there tomorrow. I'll be at the stadium tomorrow rooting them on. Fantastic. So look for me on the big screen. We'll, we'll, we'll all look for you. And, hey, again, okay. thanks, for, thanks for it all. And uh, continued success. Okay. All right, Thank man. Thank you.